here I am. It's me, Kylie's mom, coming to you from our cabin basement. The reason I'm down here is we're having a heat wave. Actually, technically, Kevin has informed me it is not actually a heat wave. A heat wave is defined by, I think it's five days with the temperature 10 degrees higher than the normal average temperature. So this is not technically a heat wave, but it's been hot and very, very humid. And I was doing fine until this morning. And today's actually supposed to be the worst day. I think there's a high 94 here, which is pretty hot for here in the Adirondacks. And it wouldn't be so bad, but the humidity is really high too. And I was sitting up on the deck having coffee with him and I just became like overwhelmed with feeling hot and sick. And I know I'm ridiculous, but I must, I can't be the only person that this happens to. I just, I just can't take the heat. I just can't take the heat. Like I can take it for a while, but then like I just cross this point where it's like I described it to Kevin as like something happens and then the whole matrix just fails. Like it just, I just feel sick. I, I get so miserable and I'm cranky and upset and it's just horrible. So this morning when I felt the matrix starting to break down, I decided let me just go into the basement and cool off and feel better. And so that's what I did. So here I am in the basement. <laughs> I did wash my face and brush my teeth, but I haven't done my makeup. You could tell like part of my eyebrow is missing. I have to put that on, but it's okay because I don't know how to turn this around. How do I turn my camera around? What is this? Huh? It's okay because I brought my makeup stuff down and my mirror and we have this lovely table down here that's actually a little pool table, you can see, but it has a cover on it so it's like a table and I have, there's chairs down here and over here which is where I was sitting, I have a little piece of carpet and I have my lawn chair. And there's my coffee, and here's Tank, he's been keeping me company. And there's Jasper over there, he's been keeping me company too. It's nice and cool down here, and it's dry because we have a dehumidifier over there going. So it is just lovely down here. So I was just sitting in my chair, looking out the slider, being cool. And here's Kylie. So <laughs> She's putting sunblock on her face. She's actually putting on uh, my Clinique sunblock on her face because it won't break her face out. And my face looks so good right now, I don't want it to break out. So she came down here to put some sunblock on because she's going out on the boat. Her dad decided to go on the boat today too, so good for them. I'm going to stay here and do laundry. I'm even going to do Kylie's laundry. Oh yeah. Since I'll be here. I thought I would do that nice thing for her. Oh, I also... Hold on, and Tank is here. Hello, Tank. And Jasper's here. They're keeping me company. Okay, pro tip. If you're gonna put, like... Well, this is just a pro tip in general. If you're going somewhere where you could be, like, summer and, like, the beach or whatever, you should... This is my recommendation. Put your hair up in a ponytail so your part can't get burned. Oh yeah. Because that is the tip. most uncomfortable sure. thing ever. Tip. I can't even talk. I think I have heat stroke. Mom, <laughs> that's not possible. It's not even like hot upstairs. It's pretty hot upstairs. It's 78. But the humidity is like 90%. It's horrible. And it's even worse. In fact, I was looking on Facebook, the heat indexes for today is like between 95 and 100. So it's a very hot day. I'm just gonna stay here in the happy basement with my good friends Jasper and Tank. Oh, here he is! <laughs> See that tail? Look at that tail! It's the floof. Okay, so I got dressed. I put my eyebrows back on. That's the furnace behind me. Kind of coming around the boat. I'm feeling quite a bit better. I got myself all set up here. I've got my dog. Where is he? There he is. And I've got laundry going and I've 
got Netflix on. I'm catching up on Star Trek Voyager. And, oh, I have a nice little glass of lemon water here. There it is. Look at that. How refreshing. Then, I'm just going to hang out here for a while and stay cool for the afternoon and maybe I'll feel cooled down and better enough to rejoin my family upstairs later. Or maybe not. Well, here's my update. I've been down here for a few hours now and Kevin and Kylie have been on the boat and I feel so much better. I have drank like, I don't know, probably at least six glasses of water, maybe more, possibly more. I think I was actually really dehydrated, probably from, we were out on the boat all day yesterday and in the heat and I think I was dehydrated. I think that's why I felt so sick. I mean, the heat always makes me miserable, but that's why I felt so sick. So I'm feeling a lot better now between being down here in the nice coolness for the afternoon and drinking a lot of water. I feel much better. So I'm hoping that when Kevin and Kylie come back that I will be able to be okay going upstairs. And even if it's really hot, hopefully uh, I can stand it. So we'll see but I am enjoying it being nice and cool down here. It's a wonderful break from the hotness. All right, see you later. All right, so I survived enough. My cold had, my core had cooled down enough that I could come upstairs and have dinner with my peeps who were back from the boat. And knowing that it was gonna be super hot, uh, fortunately I was smart enough to plan ahead and plan a dinner that required no cooking and was cold and was all already prepared. Here's our dinner. It's smoked boneless chicken breast from this really great place called Oscars in Warrensburg, New York. Some vegetables and hummus and crackers and dip and pickles. And here's my peeps back from a long day of refreshing boating. Okay, this is take two because the first time it was apparently a photo, not a video. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Here are some rainbow cookies wonderful Kevin brought for us that I've been keeping in the fridge so they're nice and cold. I have survived dinner at 88.5 degrees. Now we're going to have some nice cold rainbow cookies and another glass of water. And then I think I will need to return to my lair at least for a bit. Alrighty, you might see a little sheen of sweat on my face from being upstairs in 88 degree weather with... I don't know, 70% humidity or whatever. So I have retreated back to my cave, but while we were eating dinner, the laundry finished, Kylie's laundry that I volunteered to do for her since I was gonna be down here all day. So I'm gonna fold her laundry and then I'm gonna watch some more Star Trek and pray that it gets cooler so I can sleep in my own bed tonight. on the boat it's oh it's 9 46 and now it's 9 47 and when they got home they announced it was cone time so we're having cones to keep cool and i think i'm gonna sleep in the basement tonight because why be uncomfortable we have a clean inflatable mattress that we keep down there it's already inflated all i have to do is throw a sheet on it and bring some pillows and a blanket down and Kylie said if I'm sleeping downstairs that she wants to have a sleepover in the basement. So it looks like we're going to have a sleepover in the basement. The basement sleepover. So. Heck yeah. Okay, what flavors are we having? Uh, Daddy had mint chocolate chip from Stewart. No, I did not. <laughs> Shoot, chocolate chip from <laughs> Stewart's. Which is a gas station, and that sounds weird that we get ice cream from a gas station. But, but it's the best ice it's cream It's a ever. really good ice cream. 
This is one example of mom losing her mind from the heat, just so you know. And then <laughs> uh, we're also having mint cookie crumble, which is kind of like Girl Scout Thin Mints in an ice cream. It's really good. Thank you. Bye. Alrighty. Well, here's our little setup. Gonna be sleeping right by the lawnmower. But we'll be nice and cool. Angel Cat is here. And Tanky's here. And we're all set for our sleepover in the basement. And grapes. And grapes. And I am hoping very much that this will be a one night sleepover, no matter how much fun we have. All right, people, happy news. Looks like I will be able to come to the surface today and rejoin my people. Although it is quite warm and it's supposed to be about 88 today, but let's see if I can show you this. Do you see that humidity right there? Do you see the smiley face on the um, thermometer? 59% humidity, people. That is totally survivable. If it goes up to 88 today, I can survive that with the low humidity. So we opened up the house, got all the fans going, and shortly we're gonna go pick up Kylie's friend, Christine from Canada, who's coming in on the bus. Can you hear that breeze behind me? So thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. You feel free to tell me how ridiculous I'm being. Although, just so you know, I already know. Um, and be safe. And I love you. Bye.